Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Here we go. By taking a look at the hourly time frame for IOTA, the price moved up with around 2.2% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 16.6 cents. The volume was actually high showing that this move was strong and the buyers are taking over. Moving to the exponential moving average, or short EMA, it is calculated in a similar way as how the simple moving average is being calculated, but places more importance on the most recent data points. A faster trend change could be signaled as the EMA moves quicker in the current direction of the price. In order to show the trend more accurately, the ribbon we are showing is made up of eight different EMAs. If we now look at the current hourly exponential moving averages, at the moment, the price is above the hourly ribbon, which can be perceived as bullish and the ribbon could play as a support. This means that you should watch if the price could bounce off the ribbon. The current price to watch is around 16.2 cents. However, the ribbon is compressed, which means the current trend is not very strong and a trend change could be expected. Generally, when the price moves sideways, the ribbon gets less accurate. Looking at the hourly relative strength index, the current hourly RSI of 66 is located in the upper region, meaning that the price is being overbought and we can expect a comeback or for the price to remain on track for some time. Moving to the divergences, bearish, or negative divergence, and bullish, or positive divergence, are the two types of divergences. When the price is making a higher high, while at the same time the indicator is making a lower high, it's called a bearish divergence. This is an indicator that the buyers are exhausted and that you can expect a change in the trend. The same logic applies to the bullish divergence, where the price makes a lower low, but the indicator is making a higher low, signifying that the sellers are exhausted. When we now look out for divergence in the hourly time frame, there was a bearish divergence and the price already went down. Jumping to the moving average convergence divergence, or short MACD, it uses two moving averages usually the 12 period and the 26 period moving average subtracted from each other to create a single line, the MACD line. Another line is used as a signal line, which is usually the 9 period EMA. You should watch for crossing between these two lines for a trend change respectively a trigger for buy and sell signals. There is also a histogram often to the MACD indicator, which shows the strength of the trend. If we now look at the current hourly MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. Looking at the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is strong at the moment and we can expect the price to continue growing or maybe at least remaining the same for some time. Jumping to the three hourly exponential moving averages, we can see that the price is situated in the three hourly ribbon, so it is yet to be seen if the price can break the resistance currently at around 16.7 cents. The ribbon is relatively spread out so the resistance should be considered. Moving to the 3 hourly relative strength index, the current 3 hourly RSI is at 57, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Moving to the 3 hourly MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently strong and it could be expected the price to go further to the upside. Moving to the daily exponential moving averages, the price at the moment is is situated below the daily ribbon, which is habitually bearish and the ribbon can act as a resistance, so you should keep an eye on if the price will break it or bounce of it. The current price to watch is around 21.4 cents. The resistance should be considered because the ribbon is more or less spread out. Jumping to the daily relative strength index, the current daily RSI of 30 is in the lower region, which means that the price is oversold and a rebound or some kind of consolidation is possible. Jumping to the daily MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. But it's expected for the price to remain the same for some time because the MACD histogram shows that the momentum at the moment is shifting upwards. You should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price, so please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short-term trading. Thanks for watching, but you should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals.
So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you. See you.